everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Border State of Rock Talk. You get great news, great interviews, great interviewees, and sometimes a comedic touch. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Um, as with my guest coming up in a few moments, you're going to want to see. Well, you're here to see it. I've got tomorrow Gordy Johnson from Big Sugar, and at the end of the week, I've got Jeff Tate of Queensryche. So without further ado, I bring to you Michael Bluestein from Foreigner. How are you doing, Michael? Doing great, man. Great to be here. Thanks for having me, Ernest. Awesome. Um, just let everybody know, um, get your tickets now. Uh, a lot of the shows I've seen on the uh, website are, are, are getting to the point of being sold out. Uh, you guys are going out on the road in March. So check the website for a bunch of American shows. And I think there's some Canadian gigs in there. Um, it's just going to be Foreigner. They're doing a, a residency of their own five or six days uh, at the Venetian in Vegas. And also get ready for the big tour with Sticks. Foreigner and special guest John Wade. So make sure you go to the links below and check out those uh, those shows. So um, just a quick question, Michael. Um, I'm going to let everybody know right now. I'm a huge Foreigner fan, past and present. Tons of great, great songs. Tons of great musicianship in there. But when I first saw you guys about six years ago, I'd interviewed, I think, uh, um, was it Kelly? I think it was Kelly. It could have been Jeff Pilsen. Um, I got the tickets to go to the show, you know, promoting and everything. And I went thinking I wasn't sure to what to expect because a lot of bands go through a transition these days with people passing away, people leaving the band, and, and that sort of thing, where you bring in a bunch of people that weren't the original uh, cast. Uh, there's a lot of skepticism because we have seen in the industry um, a lot of bands that will bring in other people and they just don't do it. It's like the people coming in try to be that person. They try to be Lou Graham. They try to be... Um, you know, all of these people that they're kind of replacing. Where at Foreigner, I was, I'm going to say it, I was effing blown away. I couldn't believe the musicianship, the talent. And um, having said that, how would you defend the fact that Foreigner is not a cover band? They're a, a great band. Well, I think, yeah, I mean, I've, what I've come to realize is that, you know, for, for lack of a better word, there's always going to be the, the haters, you know. Uh, I mean, it's just people get very attached to, you know, and, and some with good reason, you know, for to to the original lineup of band. I mean, hey, let's look at, you know, that was a great lineup. Lou Graham, you know, in his day, in his prime was the killer singer. And all those songs that, you know, those vocal performances are indelibly, you know, printed, imprinted in people's minds, you know, like the, that it, it, his singing is just really incredible on that stuff. And so that, that brings me to kind of, if you're going to go out and have another chapter, chapter two, without Lou, you better have someone who's bringing it right. Who's really doing justice to these high tenor rock songs. And I think, like you said, like you sort of hinted at, Kelly Hansen does just that. He 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 does that, and he brings, you know, the, those melodies with the intensity that Lou had back in the day, and uh, I think brings his own flavor to it too. Uh, you know, going on to the other guys, Al Greenwood, who's a friend of mine, the original keyboard player. We've hung out a lot. You know, we've done. You, you may be aware we've done some reunion shows with with the original mm -hmm. guys, Lou and Al, yeah. and. Rick Wills, uh, Dennis Elliott, those guys have all come on stage with us and played. We even have a DVD where we have part of it is with the new iteration of the band. And then there's a bunch of songs with the original guys up there too. So, so, you know, there's, there's, a, there's, there's been a, a coming together around that. Uh, but back to the Al thing, you know, Al and I talk about the original keyboard parts of the, uh, you know, in the songs and, and, you know, I pick his brain about stuff and, and he's, you know, I'm very, thankful and humbled that he's given me his thorough full endorsement as the new keyboard player or not so new as you mentioned it's been 16 it'll be 16 years for me in march but as you know carrying the torch for the band for these great songs and i i feel that i have done my absolute best to, to really you know capture the 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 you know the the nuances and the important parts of these songs and 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 i'm still true to them to this day you know and i i think everyone feels that way in the band whatever on their respective instrument jeff Pilson on bass you know bruce watson guitar chris frazier on drums our newest member luis maldonado you know we're all fans of these tunes and we're all everyone's quite conscious of 
what it means to be a replacement in these bands, what it means to be carrying the torch, you know, for such legendary, legendary music for these songs that people know and love, you know, no one, no one takes that lightly. So uh, I think that's why maybe happy to hear you were impressed with what you saw and heard, because I think there's that real dedication, love and, uh, you know, reverence might be a, a, a too strong a word, but I, I don't think it is actually, you know, there's like a real, thorough deep respect for for the music and i think that shows when we're up there playing it yeah i mean it's more than impressed i mean i was blown away i'm telling you right now um it's obvious that the uh the foreigner team um doesn't cut corners i mean that show that i saw here in canada uh wow i mean the light show the 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 the, the professional musicianship the um the mixing I mean everything and and just the delivery and 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 um Kelly's um I think I was told expect Kelly to run out into the audience and sing with the fans I mean that sort of thing was um it, it almost sent goosebumps um um on my arms now I wanted to um ask a question about Mick Jones now obviously I think he's eighty years old and and people should not expect somebody to just perform to just perform yeah i mean he's had some health issues now um is there a chance that mick comes up and does a few shows um or not shows maybe a song or two on this upcoming tour or is it a wait and see kind of thing uh michael there's always a chance i mean i think you know you you said it it's it, it it's tentative and it's uh touch and go you know he's had some health issues over the years and unfortunately they haven't gotten a lot better and there's different ones and you know i can't really go into them but you know at his age and with some of the challenges he's had it's it's pretty hard to get him up to canada you know the travel part can be the hardest part of it you know mm -hmm. and just the, the grind of all that so you know we're always hoping he'll come back and he surprises us and shows up sometimes and he gets out well, there but you know we can like you said it's kind of a wait and see thing yeah, in my channel, actually, it's unique. I live on the border with Michigan, but 90% um, of my subscribers are American. So <laughs> there is a chance for my American uh, subscribers that you might see Vic. And if you don't, you're going to see a hell of a show. Now, when it comes to overall um, managing the whole foreigner um, experience, does Mick have any say? Does he ever... Um, say okay you know what i don't really want that in there this year or I, does he is he in in part of any out of the production or do you have absolutely i mean he's okay. still the final he's still the final word oh okay stuff, you know? uh absolutely i mean it's it's his band you know he selected the people that you know he was all the people that are currently in you know yet in the band he had a a big part in deciding that you know, and being involved in decision making around the personnel, you know, arrangements, um, stage production, lighting, all these things are, are definitely he's, you know, consulted on all this stuff for sure. So it's fair to say Mick Jones is very much in touch with the inner workings of the current foreigner. Yes, definitely. So, hey, thank you very much, uh, uh, Michael, for your time. Just got a quick question here. What's the opposite of unsubscribe? Subscribe. Everybody, subscribe to the channel, as uh, Michael Bluestein from Foreigner says. Get your tickets, and uh, thanks again for your time, Michael. You've got it, Ernest. Thanks a lot. Nice talking to you. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.